All right. Every day I get up and say, what can I do to get the word out about Rudolf Steiner's science of freedom? So today I decided to do a quick video. Something important about getting the word out is that you need to, if you're using social media, you need to put out a lot of content. A lot of videos that I've done, I can end up spending a month producing one video. So I'm trying this more informal approach to videos uh, so I can put out more content and we'll have to see how that works out. If you want to see more of these, uh, like the video and let me know. Obey yourself. Obey yourself. That's an important principle in the philosophy of freedom. Uh, here's something from chapter 9. A person is free to the extent he is able to obey himself in every moment of his life. An ethical act is my act only if it can be called free in this sense. But what does it mean to obey? What is it that you obey? You obey your intuitively experienced ethical impulses. Steiner calls this the impulse of freedom. This impulse is an ethical individualist moral authority. There's a chapter on moral authority in the philosophy of freedom, I think it's chapter 10, that goes over various kinds of moral authority that a person will submit to. Uh, but ultimately, for an ethical individualist to actually be moral, you need to be your own moral authority and act and act on your own ethics. I think most of us in life, we try to transform ourselves into these obedient instruments for other people's ends and needs. But how rarely do we posit ourselves as an end into ourselves? Especially if you're a collectivist, it's very important to submit to the group. The group sets the ethical standards, which then as a member you obey. But in contrast to this, there's the free spirit. Within all this enforced order, there arise free spirits who in all the entanglement of customs, legal codes, religious practice, and so on, learn to be true to themselves. They are free insofar as they obey only themselves, unfree insofar as they submit to control. Which of us can say that he is really free in all he does? Yet in each of us, there dwells something deeper in which the free human finds expression. So, are you aware of something deeper within yourself in which the free human finds expression? This is something to contemplate. Hopefully, everyone's aware of this deeper part of themselves where you really can be true to yourselves. In the end, when you look over your life, uh, I would guess that that's going to be very that's going to be a, something important that you're going, going to want to feel that you live the life where you are true to yourself. You know, you have some sort of inner need, some sort of inner desires, whatever it may be. So for me, that's to create. Like, I have this insane desire and need to create stuff and make stuff, and it's what brings me the most joy. I think many people would agree that being creative brings you great joy. Uh, in a sense, that's when we're really expressing who we are in, our, in creative activity. Otherwise, we're just repeating things, things that we got from outside of ourselves. When it's really us as an individual, it's creative. A mature person is the maker of his own value. He does not strive for pleasure that is to him a gift of grace given by nature or by the Creator nor does he live to fulfill what he is supposed to recognize as duty. After he has renounced all pursuit of pleasure, he acts as he wants to act according to his moral intuitions, and he finds the true enjoyment of life in achieving what he wants. You can see a lot of people doing things as a public display so that they can be valued by other people. The value of their life is bestowed upon them 
from those on the outside. A mature person is a maker of his own value uh, according to how well you fulfill your intentions in life. Well, I want to make this a brief video, so I'm hoping that these thoughts can enrich your day. If you'd like to get more involved, uh, you can go to philosophyoffreedom.com or philosophyoffreedom.org. Maybe you've got some ideas on how to get the word out about the philosophy of freedom.